Hello and welcome to our online presentation on how to use the online application link enrolling a new IBO or member through your support site with AmeriPlan. My name is Michelle Stefferson and I am a National Sales Director with the company. Let's begin. The first thing that you need to do is log into your support site. And that would be Ameriplan.net or better known as AmeriplanUSA.com forward slash IBO. This is exactly what your page would look like and you would need your ID number and password to sign in. Once you have signed in, your page is basically going to look like this. This is the home page. In the blue menu bar on the left hand side right here, um, you're going to see that blue menu bar and in that blue menu bar in about the middle of that blue menu bar is a link called online applications. Go ahead and click that online applications link. The next page that you're going to be viewing is similar to this. Unfortunately, the top portion of this screenshot was cut off. Um, you will see a box to the right hand of the blue menu bar and in that box you will see online applications, IBO applications add new, and member applications add new. You would click on the add new link for the appropriate application you will submit. If it's a new IBO and somebody that works at home with the company, you would click add new underneath IBO application. And if you were enrolling a new member and somebody was just looking to get benefits, you would click on the add new link underneath new member application. Once you do that, you're going to come to the very first page, which is a disclaimer, <clears throat> and you will see that on the first screenshot on the left. There is a little check box where that you're going to need to check that you agree to the, this disclaimer, and underneath that will be where you will place the zip code for the applicant. After you click continue, you'll be on the very next page, which is the screenshot on the right, and you will click the little box for the disclaimer that you agree to that as well, and you will go ahead and click continue. From there, the very next page that you will be viewing when you are enrolling a new IBO will look exactly like this. In that box, there are three little boxes that you would check off. And the first box would be the $49.95 stair step or the $99.95 lifestyle. Directly underneath that is another little box that can be checked off for an IBO kit, which is $45. I generally do not discuss this at all while I am talking to a new IBO prospect. They can always go back to that by clicking on their online applications link in their support site if they would like to purchase that. So be very, very careful and pay attention and check off the appropriate box as to which package they are choosing. Inside there, in that box, will be a little button that you'll be able to view underneath will be choose the above and you will need to go ahead and click on that button to get to the next page. If this was a member that we were signing up, you would see four separate boxes. Um, one box would be the dental, the next box would be AmeriPlan MD, the next box would be AmeriPlan Healthcare, and the next box after that would be the lifestyle plan. So you would clearly see that in four separate boxes and you would click on choose the above for the appropriate one for the, that membership if it were to be a member application. Moving forward, after you click on choose the above, you're going to be looking at a page that looks very, very much like this. This is the application entry application information that you would be entering into this page. You'll need their first name, their last name, their social security number, their date of birth, if they're a male or a female, and hopefully you know that when, after you have talked to them, and generally not something that you would need to ask somebody. Um, additionally, you would need their relationship status, which is married, single, uh, divorced, widowed, and usually during your very first conversation 
with a prospect, you get to know this information as they'll be telling you in conversation that they're either a single mom or a single dad or any facsimile thereof. If worse comes to worse, you can always click down the drop down menu that you will see there and click on single and that could always be changed later. The city, state, and zip code will already be in the appropriate boxes filled in for you because you've already filled that zip code in on the first page. As well as you will need their phone number and let me bullet point real quick that you will need to put that phone number in the cell phone area. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a cell phone or a landline, that's where you would need to put the phone number. Moving forward, the very next page that you will view will be where you begin to add their household members. Quickly bullet pointing for you personally, I do not take this information at sign up. I do make sure that the uh, applicant has the link to the member portal so they can add their household members to their plan later which is by going to AmeriPlanUSA.com forward slash member and that portal generally is up and ready for them to register in about 48 to 78 to hours, I'm sorry, after enrollment, um, which is really just a quick registration with their ID number and their zip code. So quite frankly, I do zip through this part of the application process. Um, so that will be the next page, and the very next page after that will be their identity theft protection. Again, I click on continue to the next step as I zip through that. Um, this next page you will see is the roadside assistance for the benefits, where, the, where we can go ahead and add four of their vehicles to the roadside assistance benefit plan, which is absolutely fantastic. However, again, I just go ahead and click through that, as I've already given them their member portal, where they can add their household members later. The very next page that you will be reviewing is the application entry application summary. And it is exactly um, what it is. Um, it is a summary of all of the information that you have inputted so far. If you take a very, very close look at this, um, you will see little boxes that's, I'm sorry, inside the little boxes you will see where they can uh, change uh, the information, or you rather can change the information if anything needs to be changed at that time. Now take a look very carefully. There are two icons at the bottom of that uh, screenshot. One icon is for a credit card or a debit card, and the next icon is for an ACH draft, which is either checking account or a savings account. Okay, so whichever form of payment that they're going to use, make sure you just check on or click on the appropriate icon for that payment. The very next two pages, or I should say one page that you will be viewing if they had given you a credit card and debit card and you had clicked on that icon, um, the first screenshot on the left is exactly what that would look like. And the screenshot on the right is what it would look like for a checking or savings account. Now the payment information for a credit card or debit card, which of we take Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express, would be the name on the card, the billing address of that card, and the 16-digit card number, as well as expiration date. If it's for a checking account or savings account, you need the account holder's name, routing number, and account number. Again, anyone can pay for this. It could be uh, their mom's credit card or checking account, if the mom is going to pay for it for them, or anything like that. It's perfectly fine as long as you have the name of that person on the card, the billing address of that card, and the 16-digit card number and expiration date, as well as if it was a checking account or savings account, the card holders, the account holder's name, routing number, or account number. Then at the bottom of each one of these pages underneath the payment information, you're going to see uh, continue. Just go ahead and click on continue. 
And the very, very next page that you're going to be reviewing is the review payment information. Again, on this page, in the area where you see the credit card information on the fourth box down of this screenshot is going to be a little tiny word that says change and you can go ahead and click on that and change that payment information just in case there is something about it that's not quite right or they change their mind and they want to use uh, some other form of payment. You can do that at this time. Please excuse the yellow box there. You will not see that on your review payment information. I've just posted that there so that you cannot see any kind of uh, payment information in this box. Again, this is just strictly for demonstration purposes, but this will be what your pages look like. Underneath the fourth box on the left, you will see Submit Order. Um, that is where you will click that button just one time. Be patient with it. It will run its course and usually pretty quickly. The next, very next page that you will see will be an application confirmation and will say thank you and congratulations and all of that right along the top. Um, or if the payment was denied and the card or account did not go through, Either way, you will know immediately. Um, you will receive a copy of this notification, which is called an application confirmation, in your email that if you have chosen to receive notifications. To be sure that you know where you're receiving your notifications, make sure you click on marketing site link in the blue menu bar on the left and then uh, beside that will be a uh, little list that comes up where you can click on Make Money Profile, Save Money Profile, and inside that profile will be the email address um, that is where your notifications will be going to. Um, I will not go through that right now with you. That is a whole separate presentation. But basically, this is exactly it. Unfortunately, I cannot go ahead and click on Submit Order. Otherwise, it will go, this will go directly to uh, corporate headquarters. And um, we don't want that to happen. Um, I have put in information into online applications for strictly a demonstration purposes for you. Well, congratulations to you on your new enrollments and many more that are going to be coming for you. I'm really, really excited to be on this journey with you. This is the conclusion of our online PowerPoint presentation on how to submit information on an online application in your support site. Thumbs up to you to creating your freedom at home. There is no limit to the success you can achieve.